Hello all, and today I am again with another speaker for our Regional Scrum Gathering. And as I said before, our effort is that we want to introduce the speakers and talks to you so that you can choose the interesting talks for yourself. Now today I have a, a Rohit with me and we will talk about his workshop which will run for 90 minutes uh, during the Regional Scrum Gathering. Now before we talk about that event or a workshop, uh, why don't we know Rohit first? and then we get into the details. So Rohit, why don't you talk about yourself for a while? Sure, thanks Aket. Uh, and first of all, thanks Aket for having me at the conference. Uh, I'm really excited to be there uh, later next week. So about me, I'm Rohit Arora. I'm an agile coach and a trainer based in Singapore from past eight plus years now. My passion is agile and I like to share what uh, I learned from the environment and try to apply with my agile teams and make it more kind of productive, make it more collaborative for everyone. So that's about me. And as a part of my, this uh, habit of sharing, probably I do, I try to do a lot with communities. Say I run a lot of meetups, I organize conferences, I try to volunteer conferences and speak at various conferences as well. So. Improv is something which I'm very passionate about and there's something I'm gonna talk about in Hyderabad. Yeah. Okay, so what is this improv unscripted? Uh, tell me something about it, like what people can expect from, from this uh, session. Sure, okay, so improv is something which I fumbled upon last year uh, when I was trying to see what are other things, other elements that I can bring into my agile team to make it more collaborative and rather more fun and more happier. So improv, a lot of people uh, say as uh, acting without script, some of them call it as a story, story telling. But for me, improv is much more, I think uh, improv as say art of possibilities. So we operate in a complex environment, which is uh, you don't have any scripts, you know, like any fine day, uh, like this morning, you know, we definitely do plan, you know, there's how a day look like. But if you realize at the end of a day, it's never like how we thought about in the morning. So improv is all about improvising, you know, all the time. So all of us are improvisers. You are an impro improviser. I am an improviser. So improv is like embracing that uncertainty, you know, with fun element. Okay. So what I'm getting is that this event, this session is about improv and it is all about doing things little unscripted. So you don't prepare, you don't plan the way things are expected to be. You go with the flow and uh, during the flow, you improve and you do something. Yeah, absolutely. And storytelling and, and you do something. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what, uh, is a takeaway like wh what I take away from the session what kind of insights I generate okay so uh, when I say when I talk about improv improv teams I see improv teams have a lot in common with say agile teams say for example you know that uh, when I look at you know uh, from outside uh, various systems say like when I look at like teams which have really succeeded and are like a uh, super performing or hyper performing teams and try to compare with you know uh, with the other teams which are not doing so well i see the basic you know idea behind you know what brings all of them together is like what we say as maybe agile manifesto also says about it's more about individuals and interactions it's more about uh, collaboration it's about your values like say focus openness respect your commitment and your courage. So I see as in I see all of these elements in, present in the improv team as well. So and by by having those kind of storytelling sessions bring into my own say events like say daily scrum or your retrospectives, I try to bring that energy, you know, which I see inherent in the improv teams to my agile teams and kind of bring them uh, uh, or kind of make them be uh, help them get better okay so if 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 i am like understanding it right it's like an event where people come together they do some sort of act and storytelling and this act of doing storytelling and uh, uh, this interaction improves 
the, the individuals and interactions amongst the team and it, it, it makes them respect more and have a more openness amongst the team so that they end up improving and uh, or, or they end up collaborating so if somebody is coming in the session he will experience this event that okay how this particular thing can be organized that how can you uh, organize a session of, of 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 this kind and then also you end up feeling that okay what do you achieve by organizing such kind of 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 event so that you know how to organize it you know what possibly you can you can take away from it and then as a scrum master or an agile coach you end up doing it in your teams am i getting it right absolutely you're spot on they'll get some kind of you know fun activities say which is like say one minute two minutes five minutes that that they kind of you know uh, introduce to their team which can bring high energy collaboration and probably improve the bonding within the team it's think think that as a like your mental gym you know uh, say for example you go to gym you do kind of you know exercises over there and six months uh, or year down the line you know you see you see your body shape, uh, taking up shape so similarly if you compare with improv think about your as a mental gym you know when you do such exercises you really feel silly you know like really does this work but uh, you know when you kind of uh, introduce this to yourself uh, you really uh, you uh, introduce on a prolonged basis you really see outcomes in the longer run you know i can do something similar uh, a short one with you as well over here right away you know so that uh, they can they can understand you know what uh, what it look like okay okay, okay. are you ready for that yeah yeah i am ready okay so the first thing uh, what you uh, in improv is you know to uh, say say feel comfortable with yes you know lot of times in organization what we do is you know uh, we say no say for example uh, i asked you just now uh, what i want you to do is say two set of responses uh, uh, the first one which we play would you you would say to me as the answer would be a no yeah okay. so saket are you going to share a story with me no 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 oh god so what what you just did is you know like you kind of just shut the door and i mean we we don't know what could have happened if we would have shared that story among ourselves yeah uh, okay now let's try to play it differently a bit differently where you probably uh, try to say yes to whatever we say you know whatever i say okay sake are you going to share a story with me yes okay is this story about a prince and a princess yes okay is princess held hostage yes okay do you think the prince would be able to rescue the princess yes does the prince save the princess yes okay do they live happily ever after yes yes so it's kind of you know story building where we kind of build upon each other's ideas mm -hmm. in corporate world we always say, always also say it as a plusing you know where you have certain idea and i kind of try to build upon your idea by saying yes to what you have offered to me so this this was a small example of you know what kind what to expect uh, expect in my work okay yeah. okay and uh, uh, anything else you you want to share with your uh, participants which can help them in making decision about attending your uh, session since it's a 90 minute session i think people need to know more because they are investing a little long time yeah definitely definitely so so it's more about you know if uh, this session is you know when you can i guess we all try to behave like you know say grown ups say like we are 30s 40s and you know with a lot of sophistication but if you want to enjoy like how say for example you know when we, when uh, i was a child or probably you were a child say when you were like 3 to 4 years uh, what happens if someone comes to your door saket and says hey saket come let's go play what what would your response would be like yeah yes yeah let's go yes let's go let's go uh, so what happens now is you know like when we are grown up uh, if someone comes at uh, our door we look at the watch uh, what's the time uh, what's the agenda uh, when i say you know come uh, come socket let's go play 
and you know you put your mind into too many things at that point of time you know you lose that uh, communication collaboration that comes from your childhood as well you know you say okay let's play what you know so the similar question you asked me you know like uh, uh, what what exactly the people are going to play so i mean the fun part is it's going to be a play you know it's nothing serious it's all fun there so i would like to if people really wanted to have fun and you know they can uh, trust each other and feel silly uh, so then probably this workshop is for them for sure good good thank you rohit thank you yeah thank you sake yeah and uh, i'm looking forward for your session and I meet you uh, it is next week only we have yet the event is is, is just few days away so yeah absolutely yeah, looking, forward looking forward to forward. yeah yeah See me you. too yeah bye i hope to see you soon thank you thanks sake bye